Good morning, everyone. Another school year has ended. Successfully, all academic programmes have been completed and the children and the staff have survived and are ready now for a good break, a pleasant summer holiday, before we all return, we hope, in September. Much has been achieved and although our online system has not been perfect, I am proud of what has been done. Children have shown fortitude and resilience and staff great determination and care of the students. Indeed, I've met several staff who told me that they cried after the last online lesson because it isn't a normal conclusion at all and they feel strongly and poignantly about the children whom they teach. I would like to thank you as parents for your support uh, of the school this year. It has been a tough time for you all and for us too and I would like to thank the staff for setting up, establishing, maintaining and operating over four very difficult months an online school which has operated almost as effectively as if we were actually here. Sometimes at the end of the school day when I finish my own teaching and meetings online, I somehow think I've been here all the time with other people, and yet it's just an illusion. Report cards will be available to parents online, of course, uh, from the 30th of June for the infant section, the 1st of July for the elementary section, and the 3rd of July for the upper school. We shall be sending out an SMS with uh, instructions uh, on how that will happen to remind you nearer the time. Term 3 invoices have been issued. I'd like to thank you, uh, those of you who have already paid these, and special thanks to those who have given up the discount which they would otherwise have received and instead asked for it to be given to financial aid so that parents who are struggling in the current circumstances in Lebanon which are serious can benefit. That is a mark of true generosity of spirit and of the kind of teamwork and team spirit which we are all going to have to show over the next year or two. The good news is that we expect next year the school to be full. We already have 1,240 registrations and at the last count we had over 100 uh, applications for new places at Brumana High School. Our reputation is high and we promise to continue to provide a first-class service for your children, whatever the circumstances. Our priority is the children at the school. We shall not fail them. The present is in our hands, but the future is in their hands. And we must be sure that we provide the right foundations for them when they become adults and they have the responsibility for running society as we do today. I would like to pay tribute to our grade 12 students. For them, perhaps, this has been a year they could not have forecast any more than we could. And perhaps it's not the way they would wish to finish, or that I would wish them to finish. But they will have learned much from the experience. They have worked hard, they have adapted and adjusted, and they have set a good example to younger students. I particularly want to refer to the prom committee who must have been very disappointed that the prom had to be cancelled and that they could not enjoy themselves in the way that they would have foreseen to conclude their school careers. They did not complain. Instead, they decided to donate all the money that they had raised during the course of the year to an NGO which provides food for the poor in Lebanon of whom sadly there are many today. Thanks to their efforts, 29 families in Lebanon who were at starvation point now are comfortable. I'm very grateful to them, not just for what they've done, but for the example that they have set to others. Society and life are not solo ventures. It's a team game, and only if we work together and support each other can we all survive and prosper. Grade 12 students now are well prepared to go on to university, both in Lebanon and abroad. We shall be celebrating their graduations with them, with their parents, in individual ceremonies at the end of August, which I hope will be memorable for them, and provide them with mementos and souvenirs 
of what have been successful school careers. I would like to wish them success, courage, determination and happiness in the future. They will need all of those qualities if they are to make the kind of difference in the world that they would wish to do. So what about next term? Well, there are three possibilities. The first one is the one I would prefer. All the students return to school as normal and we have school as a microcosm of society with bustle and hustle and lots of happy voices and teachers teaching and children learning. Tremendous. However, we all pr probably know that that may well not happen. So the second option is that we have a half and half situation. And I mean that literally, whereby if the Ministry of Education determines it, half the children will come back for, let's say, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and the other half for Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, with appropriate social distancing. And then in the afternoons, children would be taught online. At least in this way, we would have some semblance of normality and actual interaction between teachers and students. We'll let you know if that option becomes reality, but we are preparing for it. The third option is the one I would least favour, and that is to continue as we are doing now, working remotely, online, all the time. While that has benefits, and there's no doubt children have learned a lot uh, through online learning, and learn perhaps some independence as well. It's not ideal. You miss, they miss their friends, and we miss them. And only by having actual interaction can we really make the progress at the kind of speed uh, that we would like. Finally, I would like to wish you as parents uh, and your children as students a very happy, peaceful and relaxing summer holiday. And I look forward to seeing you back here in September either in actuality or virtually, one way or the other, rather like the mother tree in the school playground which has stood since before the school was founded in 1873, we shall be here waiting for your children to be of good service to them. Their needs are great and they must be met. Until we meet again, au revoir, Masalini.